Yeah, John, the man alleged to be at the centre of this armed standoff is a Reese Richard Ngahiwi Warren, and he appeared here at the Whakatane District Court uh, this afternoon. He faces four charges of using a firearm against four different police officers. Uh, Mr Warren, who's 27 years old, uh, entered the court. He was flanked by two police officers, and he wore a blue boiler police suit. Uh, he was also handcuffed, and there were about six family members uh, in, in the public gallery to uh, view today's proceedings. It's alleged Mr Warren shot the four police officers during a, a cannabis operation at, a, at this rural property on Onepu uh, Springs Road, um, just out of Kawaro. And uh, that standoff uh, lasted just over 23 hours. Uh, Police Commissioner Mike Bush, uh, he spoke to media uh, outside uh, once, once the standoff was over. Our whole objective was to ensure that this matter was concluded without anyone else being harmed. And through uh, cooperation with the community and the absolute professionalism of our staff, uh, the New Zealand Police, and the other services that assisted us, that has occurred. The liaison officer, Inspector Warwick Morahue, who is actually the area commander of Taupo, he acted as the negotiator, and Mr Warren was arrested just after 9 o'clock this morning. Today's example was actually getting back to grassroots and, um, and dealing with whanau. And so I suppose those are the skills that we pick up in, in our jobs as we progress through this uh, career is how to deal with, engage with uh, many levels. Um, so look, it's, um, you've always got to stay in touch uh, with uh, what's happening on the ground and you know, it was my turn to, to, to jump into the fold and, and do what I could. And so I'm happy to do that and um, certainly uh, for me with this outcome, uh, I'm certainly a, a proud Māori and a proud Māori officer uh, today. The family greeted you as a bit, of her- a bit of a hero coming out. I mean, can you tell us what um what uh, the man's mum said to you when you came out with, the, I guess, the good news? Oh, I, I, look, I don't know about hero, but um, you know, to me the heroes are the guys that went to hospital yesterday. And, um, you know, I suppose that um, ser- certainly serves as an inspiration uh, when you've got um, close colleagues uh, being hurt in the field. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, we, we come out, we do our job. We do what we can um, at a time of crisis, and uh, we do the best we can. and. Um, Quite often, you know, we're stretched. Um, I think sort of I'm coming up 28, 30 hours now on the trot. Um, But we do what we have to do. We get the job done and keep our families and our communities safe. Uh, Yeah, John, Mr Warren's mother and other family members were at the cordon overnight, uh, but they they didn't sleep the whole night. uh, And they gathered for a karakia and a waiata at the police cordon. The man's mother spoke briefly after his arrest, saying that her son must have been confused and frightened last night. He's probably um, a bit clearer in his head, because he would have been scared yesterday, frightened. So fear, helicopters, everything would have been quite terrible, so thank you very much. Uh, John, the the names of the four police officers who were shot, they've been suppressed by Judge Rollo, but... Two of them we know underwent surgery today. That's the officer who was shot in the head and another officer who had a wound to his hand. Two other officers, uh, they were discharged from hospital yesterday.